Welcome to the Body Project Podcast. I'm your host, Catherine Tanaka, fitness, nutrition, and accountability coach, and the host and producer of this podcast, the Body Project Podcast. So we've kind of shifted the conversation in the last little bit. I used to predominantly only interview fitness professionals and movement professionals on how they use fitness as a modality to completely shift and transform the way that their clients are in their lives. Well, since COVID, the conversation has changed, and then now it has changed again. I'm only doing series speaking about different facets of health and well-being, different facets, facets of mindset, and really looking at what are other things outside of fitness that can make us feel our best, that can give us access to our best selves, our greatest versions? And so in this series, I'm going to be speaking with some of the top experts in the field of body positivity. I recently, in October of 20. 21 was on the Global Morning Show. This is our Canadian national morning show uh, that is um, broadcasted across the country. And I was able to speak with the two hosts, Jeff and Carolyn, about body positivity as a fitness expert and mindset coach. And it was a privilege to be able to do so. One of the challenges I, that I found was... <laughs> I guess it wasn't so much a challenge, but when you put yourself out there in media, it is inevitable that you're going to be met with a lot of praise, of course, then, you know, it's a Canadian national show. Um, it is a big deal to be on a Canadian news network, um, especially as a fitness expert, right? You want to, of course, try to make your mark in the world in a big way. Um, and there was a lot of negative feedback, Right. Not so much from a troll's perspective, although there was, but really asking the question of what do you know about body positivity? I acknowledge body positivity is a huge movement that has been around for over a decade now. And it really calls to shift the conversation around diet culture and shift the conversation around um, the way the fitness industry speaks about weight loss, speaks about diet, and speaks about what fitness is, right? Here's one of the truths for me. Yes, the fitness industry is very much pushing about diet culture and weight loss culture. This is not the primary focus of my business at all. For those of you that actually know what I stand for, I really am about how do we use fitness as a powerful modality to feel our best, right? To give us the discipline, to learn about consistency, to learn about showing up for ourselves, really more from a mindset perspective right? But it really begged the question for myself, right? It isn't that you have to be an expert in all areas, but fundamentally, I do support busy working women, often that are moms in their late 30s, their 40s and 50s to shift their mindset around self-love, self-acceptance, self-care, and how to use fitness and nutrition to feel their best. And yes, people do come to me for weight loss. And yes, I am very successful in supporting women to transform their bodies from a weight loss perspective. But first and foremost, it's looking at how can we feel our best? How do we not make it about what we should and shouldn't do? And self-deprecating conversations around um, weight loss, self-deprecating conversations around negative self-talk and negative mindset. I really do take an evidence-based approach to how can we fundamentally shift where we are now, accept where we are now, and then choose where we want to go. Because although there is an importance for body positivity, self-acceptance, and self-love in a way that is unprecedented than ever before, there are still people that want to change their bodies fundamentally, that want to look a certain way. My job as a fitness expert and a mindset coach is how do I pro provide the evidence-based research, the framework to do this sustainably, consistently, supportively, in a way that makes us feel good, makes us feel good now, makes us feel good later, right? It's for me about sustainable growth over a lifetime, right? And so with today's conversation and with the conversation in this series, I really wanted to learn more for myself, right? We don't know everything as fitness professionals. It's kind of like a lawyer. You would never meet a lawyer that knows all the laws, right? Things are constantly evolving and changing. I got my kinesiology degree started back in 1999. That's when I started in the fitness world, 
right? And so things have evolved over the last 22 years. Things have evolved in kinesiology, in nutrition science, in mindset. Look at what the, the foundations of mindset these days and even most recently, Jill Bunny, a friend of mine and the founder of CBT Meets Fitness, is completely shifting the landscape around conversations of cognitive behavioral therapy and fitness, right? So this is such an important conversation. And I wanted to bring some of the best experts speaking of this. And so I'm excited over this series to have deep conversations with people that are experts in their field around mental health, around body positivity, <clears throat> around children, body positivity and mental health, looking at what do I need to learn more of? What can I impart on you and share with you that perhaps can support you in nurturing the conversation around your own body positivity, nurturing the conversation about what's possible in your body, that it isn't about us having to look a certain way or be pressured by diet culture because of societal norms, but really looking at what are the ideals for ourselves? How do we want to feel in our body? And how do we want to live, right? Because sustainability in life of feeling good, of nourishing our bodies, of moving in a way that fits in is really about how do we do this long term? How do we create a long runway so that we can feel good in our 30s, our 40s, our 50s, our 60s, our 70s, our 80s, right? And so I hope you will join me over the next several weeks as we dive into these conversations in a really meaningful way, because I know that for certain, it will shift the way that I show up for my clients, how I shift and show up for you, all the listeners and viewers. And my hope is that you'll be able to take away one thing every single episode that'll support you too. Thanks for tuning in.